Welcome back to MTV. This is episode 7 of the Dungeon series. So, that means we're finally up to D15. Mm. D15 is a another one of those dungeons where you can't really out-gear it, you can't really out- buff it, you can't boost yourself past the point. You, you so have you have to, to actually do it. Do it. Um, you must have a pet of each type um, at tier 5 or above. This has bit me in the ass before. Multiple times. <laughs> and others, I'm sure. Now, before I get into the actual strategy, I just want to say that this strategy was provided to me by Eki. Uh, you may recognise Eki's name as being the one that provides all of the giveaways on Bamboo Forest. Uh, you may have seen her around on other servers. Thank you so much for walking me through the D15 strat and spending that two hours it took to, to teach me properly. So, strategy for D15. Yeah. Floor colours mean nothing. Yeah, just ignore them. There are three movement features and mm -hmm. three phases to mm -hmm. D15. You start at 200 health. The first phase runs you through to 130 health. Then from 129 health down to 100. And then from 99 health down to zero. The strategy we're going to use ignores the 99 health down to zero phase because in phase three, as was correctly put out to me, all of the pets go to Narnia and stop behaving. In the first phase, the various pets move as follows. You have Cat will attempt to move to Dragon. Dragon will mirror itself around you and Dog will sit there moving up and down in a straight line. Mm -hmm. It reflects off of walls. You pretty much ignore Dog. In phase two, it gets more interesting. Cat will move downwards and run away from the boss as fast as it can. Dog will swap with Cat every time you make a move. Mm -hmm. And Dragon will stay stationary. The other key part of the dungeon is that uh, you can switch between your sword and your armor spec. Mm -hmm. In sword spec, you take more damage than armor spec. Yeah. Okay, Fair but enough. you can move twice as far. You can move two squares uh. instead of one. The strategy is in phase one, we want to get the cat on top of the dragon. That will force the cat to stop moving as long as the dragon pet stays below the boss. Once we've got the cat swapped up to the top of the boss mm -hmm. and we are armor, then we have to move the dragon to the side of the boss and be underneath it. Um, that's actually the most challenging part of the phase. Once we get there, if we are above 130 health, we need to get our health down to 129 through a combination of swap and pass. Mm -hmm. uh, then we switch with the dragon. Then we count the moves, and this is this is the arithmetic part. So we count the moves from the furthest pet away from the boss to the free side of the dragon. If it's even, then mm -hmm. we're golden. If it's odd, then we need to move up one and then swap because the intention is that we end up with the cat on top of the boss. Otherwise, the cat's going to just run away to Narnia and we're going to completely fail the dungeon. Um, once you've done that, you've basically won. You swap with the dragon. You move left or right, depending on what gets you below the boss. You've now surrounded the boss with you and your three pets, mm -hmm. and as long as you manage to do all that before 100 HP, you win. Any questions? So many questions, none of which I'm going to ask. <laughs> I'm Violet's going to say going, bye. Violet's going to take the kids off to a different room, and I'm going to play this thing through. All right, time to do this. It doesn't say yes over at the warning room. Okay, dragon's in the right place. I'm in the right place. All's looking pretty good. Next movement, we need to bring my health down to 129. Oh no, I stuffed it. There's a reason that you use the pass turn there, and it's to make sure the dragon's in the right spot so that you don't stuff your entire strategy. Oh boy. Okay, start again. What's our starting place? I'm in the bottom right. Oh no! No 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 no! Oh! 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 oh. Screwed up. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! All right, pass turn, pass turn, pass turn, pass turn. Let's try again. Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay. Third time's the charm. We're starting in the bottom left here, and okay. So what we can do is swap with dog, move one left, switch. Let's do that. So dog, left. Switch. We're in the perfect position. Swap with the cat. Lovely. Ooh, the dragon's not in a good spot. Now we've got the dragon in a slightly awkward spot.
Alright, cat's in the right spot, dragon's in the right spot, health's in the wrong spot. Better get our health down a little bit. 25 puts us in a perfect position here. Pass turn, 127. Dragon is now frozen in place. So now we can swap with the dragon. Cat runs off to Narnia, and we go... We can count this with our finger. We'll go cat, dog, cat, dog, cat, dog, cat, dog. We need to move up one. So now we switch with the dog. And let's move into position. Everything is now where it needs to be. Now if we swap with the dragon, it puts the dragon in the correct place. So now we move left. Bam! All done. That only took three attempts, right? <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> yep. Well, I'm back. That was that was nerve-wracking, unpleasant, and I screwed it up three times, twice, something. Twice, and you got it on the third go, though. So, and the strategy me. works, Yeah. Um, but it is a matter of actually remembering to do all of the steps and not stuffing it up. So, anyway. So, anyway. That, that concludes our <laughs> seven days of dungeons mm -hmm. dungeon special. Yep. We will be doing a, a D15.2 prep special at some point because the next thing I'm headed into after my next time travel and Easter's all done mm -hmm. is all training. Anyway, thanks for sticking with us for um, what will now be seven videos. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. Yep, we presume. Yes, we, we presume. We presume it's been fun. Yep. My, my run just now was absolutely terrifying. Yep, and I am not looking forward to doing D14 at all. No, I've been MT. I'm the Violet Bombshell. We will catch you on the next series. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Welcome back to MTV. This is episode 7 of the Dungeon Series. Yes. Because we aren't recording these out of order at all. No, not at all. We're not doing the first one, the last one first at all. Yep, don't know what you're talking about. No. <laughs> right.